Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and today's video is going to showcase a few of the trophies that we have managed to get over the last few weeks, and even a few from earlier that I've had sitting around and haven't had a chance to put in a video. Ending off with one of the most recent trophies that you guys have not seen yet here on the channel, from one of the live streams. That is the dang bighorn sheep right there, and that may give you guys an idea of what the cool trophy is that we managed to get on live stream recently. Before we get to that, let's get to a few of the other trophies. If you guys want, uh, ooh, that's, oh, oh, yes! Oh my gosh, you'll love to see it. You'll love to see it. Double thick males. Double thick males. Holy crap. We got them both as well. That is a crazy little duo of bucks right there. What are these guys going to score? Did we get a 275? Oh, 271. He's big, but he's not massive. He's big, but he's not massive. Looking for another 275 buck. But 271 is definitely not bad. Now, what is this guy going to be? What do we have here? 266. Okay, so they both made diamond, but uh, neither of them were a 270 plus, unfortunately. Pretty sick, though. That's two diamonds side by side, and they were both really good ones. So we believe it's only great ones that are affected by not claiming them. Because if you notice, if you don't claim an animal, it still respawns, right? And it seems like it can respawn as pretty much anything except for a great one. So if you're not doing a great one grind, it doesn't matter if you leave a couple. And even if you're on a great one grind, leaving one or two here or there is not going to kill your grind. Which is a pretty massive misconception. It's just if you're leaving all of them. Like if you don't claim any of your kills except your diamonds and rares, yeah, that's going to screw your grind over like crazy. Ooh, ooh, oh, oh my gosh, there we go. Look at him. Dude, our HM is 100% kicking in. Wow. And that's a good four too. We've already got a diamond mule deer on the day. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, guys. We got ourselves a diamond. Well, potential diamond. Now, the tough part about this is this is a very, like, far away zone. I'm going to need to move up closer. Come on, big guy. Uh, No pressure there, so we should be able to kill both of them. Gosh, he is gorgeous. Okay, I got the right rifle. There we go. If you guys didn't know, when an animal goes down to drink, you have a little bit of extra time to take the shot on them after they uh, spook and start fleeing. So if you have two deer that you're trying to shoot, one is taking a drink and the other isn't, shoot the one that isn't taking a drink first. That way you have a little bit of extra time to make the follow-up. This guy should 100% make it with this rack. Uh, this is half big rack, half touching brow tines rack. There should be no reason that this thing wouldn't make it. Yeah, 323. He's big. Look at him. Wow. That's beautiful. You love to see all these beautiful diamond mule deer. That is another diamond on the diamond counter. That's our fourth diamond on the grind. Out of 206 kills. Holy. Ooh, that's giant. Oh, that's a big boy. What do you guys think? 265 minimum. I'm going to say 274 on the score. I think that's going to be a 274. That's my prediction. 274. What do you guys think? We got a couple 273s in chat. A 269, 275, 270. Ooh, rip metal, man. Hate to see it, man. 276 being hopeful. If it's a 276, that'd be like the biggest that anybody's ever got. Do I have the right gun? Yep, right gun. Nice, we got him. He's going down. It'll for sure for sure score 300. Oh man, could you imagine? Come on! Be a 275! Ah, oh, 272. I mean, that's still a big boy. 272 37 is a solid deer. That's still a big deer. Quite large. Gosh, two of them. 
Oh, ah, that's a five. A five bighorn. What? Brother, where did you come from? Brother, where did you come from? I've been to this zone so many times and never seen him walking through here. Oh my gosh. That's insanity. 316. Oh, he's running. Oh no. Oh, we got his attention. Stop moving, buddy. We got him! Oh my gosh. What a shot. Holy crap. What, what is the chance of that? That's insane. Um, I don't have a stand here. Okay, we need to find a way to get over to this guy fast. That's a long walk. Oh, I'm not looking forward to walking that. Oh, no. ATV it is. We're going to risk it for the biscuit and ATV around. I might just have to take a different route. This is really rocky and rough. I could probably make that over there. If I can just get past this first little initial spot. Oh, there we go. And yes, that's definitely an initial spawn. I don't hunt Rancho very much. I mean, this is one of the first hunts I've done on Rancho in a long time. Usually whenever I hunt Rancho, it's in multiplayer. So this Mule Deer Grind is one of the first things I've done since the last time they reset Rancho. So that was definitely an initial spawn Bighorn. Jeez, you guys are all saying over 170. I guess we're about to find out. What is... The big male going to score. Ouch. That is a cactus. Imagine I die to the uh, mule, de mule deer. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. He's right next to him. Um. Okay. Is this a diamond bighorn? Yes, it is. 165.49. Wow. This was the small horns. So it very well could have trolled, but he made it. Jeez, man. I haven't killed a diamond bighorn in so long. That's awesome. He's looking purdy. He's looking real good. A super stunning male. So now that we've shown off all of those trophies, I think we'll do a little bit of hunting for mule deer and talk about some of the changes to our grind. Since a lot of you have really been wanting to keep up to date with everything we've been doing here on the mule deer grind. We still have a few zones that we've been grinding for the mule deer, but I'm at a point where I probably need to try and find some more. Because it just feels like we're not getting our respawns back as consistently, which in almost every single case means that our bucks are going in different areas. However, something that was absolutely amazing is that we finally got the last of the coastal zones managed down. Aside from the uh, one that we just did not hunt, I think it was this one right here, because this one was tucked away in like the most un... I guess inconvenient corner. Like this corner is just terrible. So we haven't managed that one down and probably never will unfortunately. And then aside from that, we moved a couple things around here. We got a new zone right here from the one that we deleted over here, I believe. And then uh, we found that we've got a few extra bucks to shoot that were on the close side of this lake. So definitely a lot of changes have happened in the mule deer grind and not all of them amazing, but some of them were pretty decent. Oh my gosh. We've got our first level one. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. And you know what that means. We can abandon this zone. We no longer have to grind this zone right here. Which means we can dedicate these two tents to other spots. That's actually huge. That is actually huge. Because even though this guy may be a level 3, that's definitely small enough to where we can leave it. And then if we look over... Oh. Well, we can't leave that guy. We gotta shoot him. Uh, what is his zone? I don't know what zone he belongs to, but he needs to go down. And there he goes. Well, we may have got our first level one, but we definitely cannot abandon this zone quite yet. Jeez, there is a lot of really good bucks at this zone. We've got a couple of fours here, a four over there. We've got a big three there. This has quickly become 
one of our best current zones. It has been producing some crazy amounts of big bucks. And we just got all three of them there. Well, we've got a floater, but let's just grab this guy right here. 250 on the score. Much how we just talked about that last zone being one of our best zones. Sadly, this is one of our best zones as well, and it's uh, in the worst place possible. You guys will probably remember me talking about how much I hate this zone. Well, I still do, but it's giving us a lot of good bucks, so I really can't complain. But honestly, I think that's pretty much it for the video. We went through all the trophies that we've got recently, and you guys got a little bit of an update on the mule deer grind. Things are going quite well on this grind, and it is kind of interesting to see how things have unfolded when we're not doing stacking and like prioritizing which zones we want as our main zones and kind of just letting the herd management go where it wants to. Things have turned out quite different, but it's honestly been a lot more of a chilled and relaxed experience. I will be probably doing a guide on how to do the more chilled side of HM because there's a lot of people that don't even know you can do it this way. But thank you guys for watching so much. If you're new, consider subscribing as well as leaving a comment down below and clicking that like button. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.